this short video I'm going to show uh, you how to add a fermata to a note or notes. So I'm going to go over here and uh, I'd already added the dot earlier. So I'm adding a dotted half note A4 in the treble clef. And I go to the articulation tool, click on it, have the down arrow going to the note. The fermata will be placed above the note when that happens. Click on number five in articulation selection, then click select. And then I'll close that by left clicking out of it. Then adding the chord below, right there. Going back to the articulation tool again. Notice the fermata is above the chord in the music. So the down arrow going to the chord, click on number five, then select. In three, four, the dotted half notes would get three beats. But with the fermata, you could maybe give those notes four or five beats, generally speaking around five. Now we're going to review how to add fermatas to notes in MuseScore 3. So I'll go into the enter note area, select dotted half note for measure 13, add the note, go to articulations, add the fermata. I'm going to go and enter these notes as well. articulations. Notice one of the notes is still highlighted, the B in the bass clef is still highlighted. Add the fermata. Remember the fermata again extends the value of the notes. The time signature is 3-4. The time signature is 3-4. The half note would get two beats, the dotted half note three beats. The fermata adds usually around a couple of beats to a note like this one. So it would be held for a longer duration, usually for dramatic purposes in a piece of music. All right, hope this helps.